And so for any passers-by, they're looking at this little tiny three-year-old kid crying because he doesn't have any money. I don't care. I just want cock porn. <laughs> you don't have big boobies like mummy. You just have small boobies. Some old creepy dude <laughs> in a dark room, my <laughs> secrets. Mm. Welcome to the Unhelpful Parenting Podcast. Where we share the real, the raw and the ridiculousness of parenthood. So if you're a mum who signed the homework, even though you haven't done it because you're the one who forgot. Or a dad who wishes he just had more time to play golf. Then you're in the right place. Well, welcome everyone. Hello. Episode 21. we got to stop counting, but... <laughs> you say them every time. I know, like, it just helps it. me like... <laughs> know what we're doing. Helps you what? I don't know. We're um, matchy matchy today. Yep. Or in green, if you're watching online, we um, did not coordinate our outfits. Not that we ever do. Although the amount of times me and the kids come out, like, and I dress the kids myself and I'll get out of the house and realise, oh, we're all in stripes. Like, You'll just... look like you just escaped jail. <laughs> <laughs> Happens a lot. We must own a lot of stripy clothes. Um my name's Beck. I hate stripy clothes. My name's Beck. You are Sam. I welcome. Am. Welcome and I hate if you are new. Clothes. Yes, Sam hates stripy clothes. Um, yeah, if you're new to listening, welcome. Um, we've got a great episode today. We uh, probably will go pretty right. quick through the start. We usually do our like yay or nays, highs and lows. Dad does his dad joke. Did I say dad? dad. Sam. Dad does his hound. Sam <laughs> does his dad joke. Um, and. Today we've got some confessions that we – it's a segment we have a lot that like where people fess up or send us their funny stories. Um, and then today we are doing From the Mouth of Babes mm-hmm. and this is always a favourite. We do it every like six to eight weeks-ish um, and people send in the funny quotes or things their kids have said. And All the things. And there are some bangers this week. So stick around for that because um, we are going to have a laugh. So let's get started with our yays or nays. I will go first. You can go first. Um, my yay is a really simple one. I am yaying and thankful for insulated cups. Just mum life. Do you mean like this? Yes, like the double walled, but more, more than that, the ones with the lids because that is the only way I ever get to drink my teas or coffees or whatever I'm drinking warm. You're talking your tea too. Yeah, I've got a tea too one that's it's, uh, it's a I double. I have a coffee. I have the aluminium coffee. Pargo one. And it is the only way I ever get to drink anything warm. Otherwise, everything is cold because it is so interrupted. Life with little children. Lots of fun. So, yay. And to the insulated cup companies, if you are not marketing towards mums, you probably should be because they are well loved. Um, My nay is (laughs) where are the drive throughs for groceries? What do you mean drive throughs there is drive through. You can get drive through alcohol, and you cannot get drive through bread, milk, bananas, and eggs. You can get drive through takeaway, like but you cannot groceries. get I'm drive like, through. I'm like lunchbox snacks flat when you've forgotten to pack trying lunch. To bloody do a grocery shop drive through, but if you're talking like a little Just run around, get me my top five express yeah, yeah. yeah things because it's impossible. We might start a new business. Like, yay, click and collect. You have to be organised to do that, and I'm sorry, but I don't You're know how many organized. mums with kids three, five, three kids five and under, and there are a lot of us that, oh, anyway, You're not rent organized. over. Yeah, not organised. I just need to be able to drive through, not pull all the kids out, and get some bananas, please. You don't have to get the kids out. I can't leave them in the cart. Oh, oh, yeah, but you have to be organised for click and collect, and you can't go, oh, whoops, forgot to order that. Soon as you forget to order one thing, it is a whole new shop run for either you without the kids or me pulling all the kids out of the car. So instead, you just do multiple <gasps> drive-throughs. Oh crap! I forgot this. Oh crap! I forgot this. Oh crap! I forgot this. <laughs> it's just one thing. Be so easy, just to have someone on the register, just grabbing things for you. Anyway, I hope one day that becomes a thing. We'll make it a thing. Yeah. Um. What is your yay or nay for this week, my darling? My darling. My darling. Wow. Um, my yay and nay is the same thing. Oh. Oh, not as mine, like your yay. No. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's weird. Mine weren't really obvious things. I love insulated cups <laughs> and I want to drive through <laughs> grocery store. <laughs> my yay and nay is Top Golf. Oh, yes. You got to you got some child free time on the weekend. Mm, we went to, to a Bucks night. And look, for a group. It's not bad. Mm. Um, terrible service that we had. 
Like mm. the staff wanted to be anywhere but there. So is that the nay? Terrible. No, there's a couple of nays and yays. Okay. It's just a generic. You just want to tell us your story. Just you just story. decided to make it a yay or nay. Yeah, so you can get it in. <laughs> well, crap service. Yeah. Good fun. Okay. My yay. Mm. I got some good shots in. Yep. Good lengths. Good, good, whatever. My nay. If you play the OG game where you have to get it in the circles, I miss the circles. Was on a golf course? It would have been sweet because they were straight. They were long. No, no points. Wrong game. Useless. <laughs> but it was good. It was oh. good fun. Is this good your? Food. Is this your? Good s- food. Good wings. Second really week in wing. a row or third week in a row that your yay or nay has been unchild, <laughs> unparenting related. Because every weekend <laughs> has been away. <laughs> It's your your overarching day. I just am overwhelmed and don't want to talk about my kids, but I have a podcast, so I have to. (laughs) Child free. Oh, yeah. That was good fun. Cool. All right. Made me miss golf a little bit. Yes. Well, that could be an A, is that you don't get to play golf anymore. Yeah. I don't remember the last time you got to go. Same as I don't remember the last time I got to go spend half a day getting my hair done. So we're even there. (laughs) <laughs> Let's get a little bit of anyway. Uh, Continue on. Well, mm-hmm. every week you want to make us laugh with your own. I don't really want to make you laugh. I just want to share things that I think are funny. Okay. And if you laugh, haha. <laughs> <laughs> and what if we don't? And it's not funny. Too bad. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hit us. What's get your, a better sense of humor? Is it a dad joke or a meme? Or this is a dad joke. Okay. Uh, scientists have found that cows produce more milk when the farmer talks to them. Apparently, it's a case of in one ear and out the other. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I don't know how I feel about adding dad jokes to this segment now. I thought it was a great idea when we did it, <laughs> but hey, I got one. Uh, what? Why can't dinosaurs clap their hands? Oh. <laughs> if you're new to the podcast, this has been the third week in a row. The first week I found it hysterical. Second week I was like, "Huh, okay, we can revisit revisit it." Now I'm like, "Really?" You've interrupted it, but it's because they're extinct. <laughs> Can't clap if you're dead. <laughs> um. And on that note, we'll go to the confessional. Well, I thought this week, Mm. last week we had a really good confession come in. Usually this segment is really funny, lots of laughs, people fessing up or funny stories, things that have happened to them. Funny haha. Yeah. And then last week, one of the confessions we got sent was someone just fessing up. My kid watches a lot of TV time and uh, that resonated with a lot of people. And even with myself, I was like, actually, you know what? That's what we're here for. Like as much as we're here to laugh about parenting, we're here to remind you that you're not alone. And so I thought... Thought I might um, revisit, (laughs) if I can bring myself to revisit the trauma of a confession I have myself of really underestimating what tantrums would be like for kids, like when you have kids. So pre-kids, I was very, I'm a very patient person. I'm a very logical person. I am so I'm married to you. Don't even shake your head at me. Um, And so for me, I was like, when my kid does get to the point where they're going to crack it and chuck tantrums and do whatever. I'll just be patient and calm and logically explain what's happening and talk to them and we'll sit down and have conversations, not realizing that tantrums start before your kid can speak and understand having um, a conversation. So a nine month old throws tantrums. <laughs> I so, tried shoving a bottle in his face and he- <laughs> <laughs> So that expectation straight out the window and I vividly remember the first time um, our oldest had a meltdown tantrum that was beyond I can do anything about this and my confession is I tried talking to her. I tried like I got to the point where I was like I remember watching something about if you squeeze and hug someone tightly it helps reset the nervous system so I tried like <laughs> holding work. her <laughs> in my arms <laughs> didn't work in that situation anyway She just tells me it's too hard <laughs> So I gave her a squeeze and tried holding her and that wasn't working she, she was hates it. Th- she threw her she was hurting herself like I did not know what to do she was like throwing herself on the floor so I just lay down next to her and cried <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's my confession. To be fair, that one was probably so bad I didn't realise how tired she was once I got her in her pyjamas because I think the tantrum was over, like putting on clothes and going to bed. As soon as I got her into bed, she was asleep in like less than 30 seconds. Mm. I think she was so exhausted. But, yeah, that was my confession. Was The only – the tough, the tight stuff only works for certain kids. Yeah. It's a sensory. If they're a light touch, it doesn't work. They hate it. Yeah. Which yeah. she is. Yeah, she loves she having arms. Tickles. If she is like freaking out, but it's not full tantrum mode and give her tickles, she just chill. you just you can see her just chill all of a sudden. So. Well, the other kid hates tickles. Yeah, the other kid loves a good the middle child. Loves a good loves squeeze. a good tight squeeze. So third one yet to find out. Yeah, but if you have if you are a new parent who are entering this tantrum phase or you're in the middle of the tantrum phase, good luck. <laughs> Know that you're not the only person it happens to, and for all your good intentions, good luck. Most of us don't know what we're doing anyway, so yes, good luck. We got another one sent in. Do you want to read this one? Yep. Uh, I was doing daycare pickup for a friend at the same time as another dad was collecting his kid. My friend's child looks at me and says loudly enough for them to hear, "I have lots of friends, but he's not my friend." It was so awkward, so I told her loud enough for them also to hear, "Oh, that's not very kind. We can all be friends." We kept talking about it until I later found out the kid I was trying to convince her to be nice to and friends with was the one they're having issues with hitting her and pushing her over. So actually, forget everything I've said. You've got a good reason to not want to be friends. (laughs) And if that doesn't work, hit him back. (laughs) I added that bit in. (laughs) This did, like, I have thought about this recently. It's very... Yeah, no, but pre this, I had thought about this recently, telling Mackenzie we're in this phase of she's five, her brother's three, they fight a lot, there's lots of back and forward hitting. And so I've been trying to explain to her there is no reason to hit people, You're not that's never okay. But then in my head I'm like with the caveat that if someone's trying to stuff you in their van or some kid is actually trying to fight you, it is okay to like – Defend yourself. Mm-hmm. At the same time, I noticed the other day you were trying to tell the kids, stop squealing, we don't squeal, we don't scream. And in my head I'm like, except please don't remember this advice if someone is trying to abduct you or kidnap you or hurt you or – anyway, it was just a thought I had like it's very hard as a parent to teach them stuff because it's like, oh, except, oh, and actually this and I don't know. It's just – it's more complex than I expected. <laughs> All right, I got another one. Go on. Want to feel old? Thrift shopping with my kid. He brings me what he thinks is an antique fishing reel and asks if we can take it fishing. It's an old pencil sharpener that you wind. Wow. <laughs> I remember having well, one of those. He doesn't even know what a pencil is. Yeah, true. Um, I had one of those in the class, so only in primary school, so – Oh, the I'm the edge ones, of that the generation. Yeah, yeah, the desk mounted ones where you put the pencil in and then you like. Sort of a battery one. Uh, aren't you fancy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah none of this operating. peasant. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, oh, yeah, you. I saw a kid the other day, not the other day, somewhere. It was like trying to swipe paper, oh. like an iPad. I'm like, just realizing, like. Our parents had to kind of explain to us. No, I still had floppy disks. I was still floppy disk yeah, I had era. Floppy disks. But and even cassette tapes. Floppy we drives. were right on the edge of that. Two hundred and fifty six kilobytes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but our kids are gonna have no idea. Even discs, CDs, discmans, walkmans, cassette tapes. Yeah, someone was like, Stop the tape the other day and I was like, What's a freaking tape? Like I know what a tape is, but I was going to say, you know better. You've worked in news. You know better than anyone. Well, yeah, they still use tape Um, at some stations. But even I saw actually the really sad thing I saw, I saw a TikTok of a like, I don't know what generation. What's the younger? Is it Gen Alpha, the one that's coming through now? Gen Um, Retard. (laughs) (laughs) Tell us what you really think. (laughs) They're so dumb and so lazy. Anyway, continue. It was us however many years ago. Oh, my gosh, did you know kind of TikTok of the save button? How it's a floppy disk. floppy disk. Yeah. It's like, did you know it's a floppy disk? And this floppy disk was like how they used to do to And it was just like this download of Revelation. I was like, man, I feel old. (laughs) 
That makes me feel so old. That's it for confessionals. Please send us in your funny stories or your confessions. If you've got a really true confession as a mum or a dad, no matter what season of parenting you're in, you may have teenagers, teenagers, primary school kids, whatever it is, send us your confessions because I think this is just such a great space to be like, yes, we're all in it together. We all have mum fails, dad fails. Or good wins. Or kid fails. have them too. A good confession. Good confession. No, <laughs> hey, it's not no. how it works. What? You don't hey, go, I actually you had don't a win go as a parent. Into, like confessional and be like, Father, I have done a good thing. <laughs> I don't go it's into like, confession. I, know, I wouldn't know. I'm <laughs> that's not telling the, some that's old the creepy premise dude. of confession. <laughs> some old creepy dude in a dark room, <laughs> my secrets. Mm, yeah, anyway. Moving right along into the mouth of babes. I've been looking forward to this one Um, because we are in that kind of age of parenthood, stage of parenthood, where we've got a three-year-old who's still learning to talk. So it's the cute, funny, like learning things. Um, And then we've got the five to six-year-old who is learning life things. And so the things she comes out with are hilarious too. Um. So I have a few, we have quite a few that were sent in and they're funny. But to start, I want to do a catch up of some of the things that we have had and you can add yours if you remember any as we go. But um, most recently, we just had our three-year-old's third birthday mm-hmm. and um, one of the grandparents wanted to take a photo with him. I don't think you were there for this. And he wasn't smiling. So as per usual, I said to him, say monkeys. And that's usually what it does, monkeys. And it makes him smile and he loves it. That's better than anyway, cheese. with the grandparent, he's like, monkey bum poo. Never heard him say that before. Don't know where it came from. But He's, he's a three-year-old boy. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly I know. where it came from. I thought it was hilarious, but I was like, of all the times to come out with this right now, anyway, it was that was fun. Um, his monkey other one, poo. monkey bum poo, and yep. I was like, all right. Um, the other one he had recently, which was a public one, and I was like, ah. We were out for the day um, and his older sister found money on the ground and he's at the stage where everything has to be fair. If his older sister has something, he needs to have the same. And so she found 20 cents and she's like, I found money. And she was so excited. And then he is like, where is my money? Where's So he had a full meltdown crying, mm. loudly screaming, where's my money? I don't have money. And, and to course, any passers-by... Neither of us had any coins either. Yeah. And so for any passers-by, they're looking at this little tiny three-year-old kid crying because he doesn't have any money. <laughs> I was like, how ironic. In the cost of living crisis, here's your little three-year-old just being like, I have no money. <laughs> so that was a fun one. Unless you've got any of your own you want to throw in there. No, I can't I don't remember them. Um, Sam's had a crazy week today. So today he was just like, hey. <laughs> if it's not written down, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Um, but we had a couple sent in, so you can read the first one. So you can probably see my eye twitching. <laughs> oh, crap, it is actually. Um, oh, stop you it. You can probably hear it if you're listening. <laughs> um, it's not flapping. Uh, my kid always mixes up his words. We've only taken him to the movies once where he very loudly requested some cock porn. <laughs> not going to back it. Not going back until he says that one right. <laughs> Oh, what movie do you want to watch today? I don't care. I just want cock porn. <laughs> <laughs> at least at that mm. age, like the age where they mix up their words, you're probably not going to the movies a lot. <laughs> so he would, he'll be fun to wait till you get that word right. <laughs> we had a few. Um, as babe- long as he doesn't know how to type it out. and like, yeah. <laughs> Jump on YouTube. I want to watch cock porn videos. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, we got a few, um, some babysitters sent some in, um, mm. which is great. We haven't had that before. So, yes, babysitters, if you are not a parent yourself and you've got kids stories, please still send <laughs> them in. People's kids are doing dumb things. Send it in. Yep. Um, so one of them said, while assisting Miss Three on the toilet, she looked at my chest and said, you don't have big boobies like mummy. You just have small boobies. Well, dang. Thanks, kid. Your mum is breastfeeding your baby brother. So sorry, I can't keep up. <laughs> I'm not gonna, Kids nah, are brutal. I'm not saying a word. Kids um, are brutal. Well, the next one was much, the, behave. much the same th- um, vein as babysitting a kid. She looked at me and said, you have an asymmetrical face. An asymmetrical face? <laughs> so one side is different to the other. 
But who knows if the kid even knows what that meant? Like, I was gonna say, how old is this kid? Oh, who knows? Babysitting age, but um, man, kids can be good for your ego sometimes. Like, thanks, kid. Wow, it's <gasps> making me feel great. <laughs> Looks like there's some from some teachers. Mm. Got a note from my student saying, "Best teacher, but not better than Mrs. Brax." <laughs> it's like. Last week's one where the kid made the card and said. <laughs> You're my fourth favourite teacher. Gosh. <laughs> Teachers cop it. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. I'm a teacher and walked into my kindergarten classroom when one of the kids says, Miss, what's on your head? Um, that's just my hair. Thought so. You should really get that checked. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like, you... sounds like you need a haircut or you didn't do your hair. Yeah, if you weren't feeling great about yourself already. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully by that stage. I guess if you're a teacher or even as a parent, you very quickly learn you cannot look for any validation in your children because yes, they have zero filter. Right. Um, well, it had one forwarded to us. It wasn't their story, but they forwarded it to us. So I was like, hell, we're going to share it. Mm-hmm. Um, writing cards to veterans for a memorial service, a primary aged student wrote, thank you for fitting in the hall. What they meant to write was fighting in the war. <laughs> Fitting in the hall. <laughs> I hope that veteran had a good sense of humour. <laughs> oh. That's a whole new version of veteran affairs and services, that one. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I like I like the spelling, the typing. Yeah, ones. the typing ones. Um, the Mother's Day card ones were always good. I saw one recently, um, wasn't sent to us, I just saw it, um, where they fill in the gaps and fill in the blanks. Mm. Um, and it was, um, my mum is 600 pounds. <laughs> like, poor mum. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Kids uh, just think the biggest number is the better number. Yeah, I do a lot of um, social media stuff for work and so our kids put down in the blank for what my mummy does for work. Texting. (laughs) On her phone. Texting on her phone. I was like, great. All right. (laughs) Got to do less work from home. Um, What else did we get? You've got one? Uh, On holidays, waking up and looking outside the window. Daddy, the animal outside have frozen. No, they're just statues. (laughs) Where are you staying to have statue animals everywhere? Oh, any oh, kind sorry, of like a, ones, yeah, Airbnb, um, bed and breakfast is the word I'm thinking of. Airbnb, have, everyone yeah. knows what Airbnb is. You no, don't have no, to spell bed it and, out. I was thinking more of a quaint bed and breakfast with like the gardens and the. Yeah, with a little kid. Be know, a statue deer. A nice kid. You don't take that kid to a nice bed and breakfast. <laughs> take them to an Airbnb where they can trash someone else's house. All right, this next one is good. Mum, do you want some ball soup? <laughs> She was playing kitchens and had made a saucepan of soup with the table tennis balls. That is definitely not the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> the things you hear as a parent. <laughs> uh, my friend's kid confuses the word lesbian and lasagna. One of her favourite foods. She will often request a lesbian for dinner. <laughs> Mom, can I have some lesbian for dinner? You can just imagine. Yeah, I got nothing again. <laughs> that's one you gotta that's one you wanna correct before they come out with it in public. All right, we have one more. Oh, I love lesbian. <laughs> um awkward. Dropping my kid at preschool. I said, bye, have a great day. I love you. He turns to me and says, Bye. Hope you don't die today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, kid. Love you too. Don't trip and fall. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Oh. Yeah. That's a, like, hope that's not a bad omen. Like, It's creepy when kids do that. When kids say stuff. Well, I had um, yesterday driving the car home from school, we drive past um, some houses that are being built and Mackenzie was like, Mommy, look, that's our house. And I was like, oh, that would be not as very expensive house that's being built. And I was like, oh. That wouldn't be so bad. She's like, no, it looks like our house, the one I've seen. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then she's like, yeah, daddy showed me photos of the house you like. And I was like, oh, okay, here I am thinking like it's this big moment of like she's 
She's, had a vision and she's five. I know, and I was like, "Oh, maybe you're tapped in the no." <laughs> just... Well, you know. <laughs> I was like, "How cool would that be?" But no, Daddy just showed her. And photos. then the next word, she, "Oh, look, Mummy, there's a dinosaur." <gasps> <gasps> I have no idea what you're talking about. When Imaginary it, uh, five-year-old things, and you're sitting there going, "Oh my god! Oh my god!" <laughs> Just getting excited because it was a really nice house, and I wouldn't be sad if we got got a house like that. Anyway, so send us, keep sending your stories in. Um, your funny things kids say. I keep these like in a tab, running tab for every like six to eight eight ish weeks. We bring this segment back because it is gold, and kids do not stop saying funny things even as they get older. I think the funny things that come out are hilarious but that's it for today so uh thank you for tuning in we hope you had a good laugh if you did please make sure you like this video if you're watching on youtube or you rate and review on spotify or apple or wherever you're listening to the podcast follow us on socials share this with your mum friends and your dad friends help us reach more parents and encourage them that they are not alone when the wheels fall off and the roller coaster gets on fire or i may not do that it may not. It may not. <laughs> Does it always have to be so bloody negative? <laughs> Far We're right. here for those moments. Anyway. We're here for the good ones too. Tune in next week and we'll have some more laughs for you. <laughs>